all right what's going on youtube it is your boy ears hope you guys are having a great rest of your day start to your day whatever time it may be now for today's video what we're going to be talking about are going to be a massive update that's going to be coming to call new world war 2 within the next couple of days they actually did pre-release the patch notes we're going to be getting into that in today's video but for right now, let's talk about the five new free DLC weapons that are going to be coming into Call of Duty World War II within the next couple of days. Now, they're actually going to be bringing the Sten SMG, the Gear 43 rifle, the Ice Pick melee weapon, the Trench Knife melee weapon, and as well as the GPMG LMG within this game. Now, the best part about all these DLC weapons is you guys actually do not have to unlock this only through supply drops you guys can do a special challenge within the quartermaster or within the headquarters to unlock each and every last one of these dlc weapons now if you guys are unaware of what i'm talking about the special orders are going to be orders like winning a match in every game mode within Call of Duty world war ii something along the lines of that i do feel this is the best way to go around dlc weapons within this game because anybody and everybody is able to unlock each and every one of these weapons as long as you put a little bit of time and effort within the game i like this because like i said it alleviates a pay to win factor that i know 99 percent of you guys hate and hate about call of duty and i do too to be honest so the fact that you can unlock these deals weapons to doing challenges and not having to get lucky out of a supply drop is a great way and a great addition kind of falling modern warfare mastered and i kind of hope they continue to do this with this, with all the deals weapons that are coming to world war ii now let's get right back on track and talk about the huge patch update that's going to be coming into the game tomorrow now if you guys are unaware they're going to be fixing a lot of multiplayer zombies as well as ranked play glitches and bugs within the game let's go ahead and talk about each and every one of them right now so what they're gonna be doing in multiplayer is gonna be fixing a score streaks training exploit now i was actually unaware but there was apparently an unlimited score streaks glitch within call of duty world war ii hopefully you know none of you guys have had to you know experience this if you guys have let me know down in the comment section below i heard it was pretty game breaking apparently there's a way that you can have like unlimited streaks glad this is out the game it's definitely something that needs to be taken out and addressed immediately they're also going to be uh, fixing the prestige exploit now i don't know if they're going to be banning people who did the prestige glitch i honestly hope they do not because like i said in my video i made a while back is all it is is a, an emblem change it not really isn't anything game breaking you're not really boosting up yourself on the leaderboards so i do feel that they should not just ban people if there is another prestige glitch obviously patch that because they really can't have that stuff in the game but banning people is kind of excessive let me know if you guys did the prestige glitch you know last week and if you guys are kind of afraid of getting reset hopefully nothing happens now let's go ahead and talk about another multiplayer update that's gonna be coming to the game is they're gonna be adding a mute all option within the headquarters now apparently there was you know something you couldn't mute people in the headquarters I never really ran into this issue uh, I guess it's kind of like a user-friendly update that they're gonna be bringing into the game kind of cool is it really gonna affect anything most likely not but let's go ahead and talk about some of the zombies and the ranked play fixes now for ranked play they're actually gonna be fixing a UI issue issue where wins were counting as losses this is game breaking i'm so glad they're actually going to be fixing this let me know down in the comment section below if you guys do play ranked play i might actually get into that on the channel and may upload some videos play with subscribers i think i definitely think that would be kind of interesting but i'm glad they are fixing this ranked play exploit because obviously if you guys are winning games and ranked play you guys can't they can't be counting as losses because if you guys do take a loss in ranked play you are bumped down a division in your ranking score so that could be very very frustrating if you get like 15 wins and half them caught count as losses obviously you're gonna be placed in an incorrect division and that could be very frustrating and kind of waste a lot of time that you could be playing and you know progressing in ranks and leaderboards they're also gonna be fixing general connectivity and ranked play matches obviously this needed to be updated because ranked play does have some type of skill based matchmaking as it is following a you know set ranked and division style matchmaking and selection process i do feel like this is definitely needed because if you guys are playing in a competitive mode obviously you guys want to have the best connection possible so it's the most fair and even playing ground so thankfully they are updating this and they are fixing the ui and the connection uh issues within ranked play they're also going to be uh fixing that ranked play is not going to be counting toward global stats this is definitely huge because if you guys are unaware if you guys did play ranked play it would affect your global kd but it actually would not give you any global xp to your regular multiplayer matches this definitely needed to be fixed because ranked play 
and public stats should be separate rank play obviously you know is focused on the win so if you technically go own 100 but win the game that's all that matters so i definitely am glad that they're actually doing this and they're going to be updating the game for the better they are also for zombies they're going to be fixing an issue where players are leaving uh, the game and they weren't receiving their xp obviously something they need to fix i don't know how many of you guys play zombies let me know down in the comment section i might start playing zombies uh so you guys want to play with me uh drop your gamer tags down in the description below or excuse me in the comment section below so i can play with you guys zombies does look fun in this game so i might get into it they're also going to be fixing an issue where players were going to be uh, were unable to open up supply drops after prestiging this is huge i know a lot of you guys have been saying in a lot of my videos actually that you guys prestige and you guys are unable to un unbox your supply drops so i'm kind of glad they're fixing this this actually happened to me a couple times so the fact that this is going to be addressed and uh pretty much ironed out within the game is very good because obviously since they are bringing in some dlc weapons we need all the supply drops and salvage credits uh we can get and as well is they're going to be fixing um and an issue where you guys were unable to use the emblem editor now this is coming to the pc i want you guys to be aware this update right now i'm talking about is going to be for the pc as of right now pc is going to be giving the option uh to create the emblem editor so i'm kind of glad that they're finally um <laughs> getting that i mean we've had the emblem editor for a couple of weeks so Finally, the PC version is getting that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these patch notes. Like I said, they're going to be bringing in five new DLC weapons, the Sten, the Guru, the Ice Pick, the Trench Knife, as well as the GPMG LMG. They're also going to be bringing in Winter Quarantine with double XP on that playlist, and as well as the Gun Game Game Mode. Let me know if you guys are interested in this update. Let me know if you guys want to play. Like I said, drop your gamer tags down in the comment section below. I'm gonna be playing with a lot of you guys on stream this weekend. I can't wait to be grinding. We're about to hit Master Prestige. So like I said, if you guys want to play, make sure to drop your gamer tag. I'll be able to pick up a lot of players, uh, completely just destroy lobby. So yeah, it's been your boy ears. Hope you guys do enjoy today's video and enjoy this FG42 gameplay. This gun absolutely is a slapper. Got a video on this coming up later on. Hope you guys enjoy. It's been your boy ears and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Paratroopers in the air! Enemy recon aircraft in the air! Enemy flight taken! Fuck, dude. Recon aircraft in your area! Recon searching for targets! Flag for a bit. Enemy flag stolen! Get it back to command! Firing primary battery. Target position Combat confirmed. Command. Move. Counter recon is airborne. Engaging enemy aircraft. Oh. Artillery ready for orders. Awaiting oh, recon airborne. So recon flight concluded. Run that flight to command. Move. Ready the drop zone. Run that flight to command. Move. We didn't cap last. Run that flight to command. Paratroopers descending. Flag to command. Hurry. <laughs> I want to say run that flag right. to command. Move. Enemy 
My fucking, my paratroopers just fucking throwing knives this kid, bro. <laughs> Literally, he just throwing knives. 